and I want to see how it compares to my 2018. So let's get started. Well, hello everyone, this is Cruise Man. Today I am at Shawnee Honda in Shawnee, Oklahoma, which is where I bought my 2018 Goldwing. Many of you have seen. And today I'm going to test ride this new 2020 Goldwing. And I'm telling you, it's the same paint that I've got on mine. The only difference is it's blacked out it's got the blacked out engine you can see the cylinders compared to mine over here which are silver it's even got black chrome for the Honda name it's got some cool gray pinstriping all around uh, it's got the new handrails look at that you can get your hand in there and actually grip it very cool and I'm going to take this thing out for a ride and I want to see how it compares to my 2018. So let's get started. Now I'm going to put this in econ mode starting out because that's how I ride my bike most of the time now the first thing I notice just sitting here before I even go anywhere is how much smaller that factory windscreen is than the F4 customs I have on my bike I forgot how narrow the factory screen is and of course it's not as tall either but it is pretty sleek looking I will admit so let's uh, let's go for a ride and see if we can tell any changes that they've made to this DCT transmission. So because supposedly Honda has made some changes to the DCT. So we'll see if I can tell it in econ mode because that's what I'm used to riding in most of the time. So we're just going to run up here and. I don't have my handlebar mounted GoPro obviously so all you're getting today is the helmet cam on my GoPro 8. And it is a rather windy day so you might get a little bit of wind noise. Hopefully the audio is coming out, I never know with a GoPro. And they also claim that they've done something to improve the low speed handling of this 2020 Goldwing, but they don't really say what they've done. I don't know if it's something to do with the suspension settings. Now, I, this one's currently set just on rider only. I may change it up here in a minute because I usually ride with it uh, with the rider plus luggage setting. an interesting little shift there. Seemed like it kind of downshifted for a second as I was accelerating, which is a little unusual. Could just be a little glitch as the transmission uh, ECM tries to get used to my riding style. We're going to kind of pop over the freeway here and I think we can find a little back road that we can turn left on and maybe uh, 
see how this 2020 handles. Ooh, I bottomed out the front shock on one little bump. That's interesting. I don't know if you could hear that or not from where you are or from where the microphone is, but see how this see how this it wasn't that big of a bump and it bottomed out the front shock. I heard it smack. Put the windshield up a little more, get a little more protection. Well, it certainly feels smooth on the road, just like you would expect. I also need to adjust my mirrors, so I can't see anything behind me. I mean, right now, uh, basically it feels like a, like a 2018 Goldwing. I can't tell that much difference. Um, what I'm anxious to see is on the downshifting, uh, if it's any smoother downshifting than the uh, 2018, because that's kind of where you get a little bit of harshness sometimes is on the downshift. I think that was where I was supposed to turn. Maybe I can get into this parking lot do a little turnaround and maybe I can tell about the low speed handling. Uh, downshifting might be a little bit smoother. Not sure, I'm gonna stop and adjust these mirrors real quick. I don't know if I can tell a difference or not. Now the bike is shifting smoothly, but I don't know if it's significantly smoother than the 2018. Uh, my bike shifts pretty smooth, and I got one of the early 2018s, so. Uh, I've never had a problem with my DCT as far as shifting smoothly. Just the downshifts uh, when you're coming like from 45 miles an hour to a stop, uh, they can feel a little harsh sometimes. So I'm slowing down from about 45 miles an hour here. And uh, yeah, the downshifting might be a little smoother. That might be improved over my bike. So I think I can tell the difference on the downshifts. Upshifting uh, is about the same, but then again, my bike is uh, smooth on the upshifts, so really no issue on my bike. Okay, I'm going to check out that downshifting again because I am coming up here to a stop. And usually the more rapid you come to a stop, the more you notice that harshness in the downshifting. And I would have to say that this bike, this 2020 Goldwing, does downshift much smoother than the 2018. 
just from my initial uh, impressions. I've gone from about 45 down to zero pretty rapidly now, two or three times. And I haven't noticed that clunkiness or that harshness of that DCT. Now, in addition to that improvement, it's possible that they've improved things in the DCT that uh, will maybe cause the transmission to last longer or to be more reliable. I really don't know. I have heard of a few cases where people have had issues with their DCT, but they're pretty few and far between. Most people, uh, the DCTs have been very reliable. I know mine has been. So the real question, I think, is going to be this, especially if you're in the market for a brand new Goldwing. This motorcycle sells for, I believe, 28500 maybe, maybe twenty seven five. I'm not sure about that. But Shawnee Honda, Jason, the sales manager, told me they just got a bunch of 2018s in from Honda. And they're selling these things. I'm talking about a DCT tour for around $21,000. So the question is, is it worth the extra $7,000 or $6,000 to get the 2020. Now, that's going to be the biggest question you have. For me personally, I don't see $6,000 difference. If I could get a brand new 2018 Tour DCT for $21,000, man, that's a bargain because that's a heck of a lot more than I paid for mine and they made me a good deal when I got mine and I don't know that they're dealing on the 2020s yet so this is a beautiful bike it's also uh, has a little bit smoother transmission now this bike does come with the fog lights from the factory and it also comes with the larger better passenger grab rails so that's something to consider however you can upgrade your 2018 with the fog lights for about I don't know four or five hundred bucks maybe and for another 275 or 280 you can put on the new grab rails so for less than a thousand dollars you could basically have everything this bike has except for the improved DCT transmission. Now I tried out the glove box opener, button, latch, whatever you want to call it, and I couldn't tell the difference. So they claim they improved it, but if they did, I can't tell it. So, there's my review of the 2020 Goldwing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you want to save some money on a brand new 2018 Goldwing, check out Shawnee Honda. It'd pay you to buy a $100 or $200 plane ticket, fly here from wherever you live, and ride the bike home. I drove 180 miles from Dallas-Fort Worth to buy my Goldwing at Shawnee Honda. That's the second Goldwing that I've bought. So I'll put their email and contact information in the description of this video. And I think they've only got about 20 of those 2018 Gold Wings, so don't wait because they're, they'll be gone before too long. If you can get a deal on a 2020, you do end up with a two-year newer bike, two-year newer model. Now, even if you buy the 2018, you're still going to get the full factory warranty, and you can still get the Honda Extended warranty.
uh, if you can't get a 2018 or 2019 at a good deal, get a 2020. There, I mean, it certainly is a minor improvement over the 2018 would be the way I would uh, describe it. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.